Okay, so this is how to install Android x86 in VirtualBox. So let's start off by downloading Android x86 and the version we're going to get is Android Oreo and it's 8.1 Release Candidate 2. So all you need to do is come to this website and the link will be in the description. Click on download and we're just going to pick download from FossHub. And the version that we want to download is this one here. So it's Android x86 64-bit ISO file. So just click on that and the download should start and I'll come back when that's finished. Okay, so the download has completed. So just make sure that you know where you downloaded that ISO file to. So for me, it's just in downloads and it's just over here. So let's start by creating a new virtual machine. So we can get rid of this. Just click on VirtualBox and you want to click new and let's just call it Android 8.1 Oreo. And next we need to tell VirtualBox where we want to store this virtual machine. So I'm just going to change this. So let's just click other and I'm going to store this on my desktop and I'm just going to create a new folder and just call it Android. So now just click open. So that's all set up. And for type, we just want to select Linux, which is fine. And version, we want to select Linux 2.6 slash 3x slash 4x 64 bit. So just click on that and click next. So now we need to give our virtual machine some RAM. Now I would recommend that you don't go below 2048. So let's just keep it at that. So 2048, which is two gigabytes of RAM and just click next. Now we need to create the virtual hard disk for our virtual machine. So just tick this box here that says create a virtual hard disk now and click on create and we want a VDI, so just click next, and dynamically allocated, and next, and eight gigabytes should be sufficient, so just click create. Okay, so now let's just change some of these settings, so let's just go through system quickly, and processors, let's give it two cores, so two CPUs, and under acceleration, just make sure that power virtualization is set to default, and that should do it for the system settings. So let's just come on down to display. And in display, what we want to do is give it as much video memory as possible. So let's just come on back to general and just copy the name of our virtual machine. And we're going to have to open up a terminal for the next step. So just copy and let's just open up a terminal. And what we want to type is vbox manage modify vm and then some double quotes. And within those double quotes, paste in the name of your virtual machine that you've just copied and then double dash VRAM 256 and hit enter. So VirtualBox just pops up with this message. So all you want to do is click reload settings and OK. And if we go down to display now, you'll see that we can increase our video memory even further. So let's take that all the way up to 256 megabytes. And under acceleration, you want to click 3D acceleration and now just click OK. So now that we've set up our virtual machine, let's just get rid of the terminal and we want to come on down to storage to load our ISO file. So you want to click in the storage devices. You want to click on empty, make sure that's highlighted. And then in attributes, you want to click on this little disk here and choose virtual optical disk file. So click on that. And then what we want to do is we want to navigate to where we downloaded our ISO file. So for me, it's in downloads and it's already highlighted here. So just click open and OK. And now we can start our virtual machine. So we get this critical error message saying that an error has occurred while running the virtual machine and the machine execution has stopped. What you want to do is just click OK and we're going to fix that now. So if you come into display and you go to graphics controller underneath the screen tab, you want to change VM SVGA to VBOX SVGA and then click OK. And now when we start our virtual machine, we won't get that error. OK, so now that we've got the Android Live CD boot menu, to install Android, what we want to do is come down to advanced options, hit enter, and we want to do an auto installation and just press enter again. 
and it's just asking us if we're sure we want to install it. So hit the left arrow key on your keyboard and hit enter for yes. And we're done. So we have two choices now. We can either run Android or just reboot. So I'm just going to press reboot because we want to remove our ISO file and just close the virtual machine. So power it off and you want to come into storage and click on our Android ISO file in our storage tree and then click on the disk here in attributes and remove disk from virtual drive and then just click OK. So now let's start up our virtual machine. And we now have this grub boot menu where we can boot up Android. So we just want to select the first option and just hit enter. So now we're in Android's first time boot setup. So first we need to select our language. So I'm just going to select English from here. Let's just scroll up to that. There we go. English and United Kingdom and click start. And you can skip the connecting to Wi Fi part, so just skip that and just continue. And set the time and date, and that's fine. So next. And then choose your name. So I'm just going to put Linux Leech and click next. And now we're into location services and other Google services. So I'm just going to turn most of these off and just scroll down for the rest. And yep, turn that off. And you have to agree, so just click I agree. And I'm not going to bother setting up an account with this, so I'm just going to click no thanks. And now we need to select our home launcher, so I'm just going to click launcher 3 and always. And we're now booted into Android. So now let's just set up our network so we can have internet access through this VM. So just like on any Android device, you have to pull down from the top. So just hold the mouse click down when you drag from the top and release it and you'll get this menu. And we just want to click on settings. And you want to click on network and internet and Wi-Fi. And you want to connect to this Wi-Fi network, which is vert Wi-Fi. So just click on this. And we now have internet access within our Android VM. So we can just back out of this now or just press home. And let's just test that. So let's just open up a web browser. And let's just go to Google. And for using Chrome, you have to agree to this stuff. So accept and continue. And I don't want to sign in. So let's just go to I don't know, fast.com. And as you can see, we now have internet access from within our Android VM. So let's just click on home. And that's basically it. So going forward, you can always experiment with the VirtualBox settings to try and increase the performance of this Android VM. So that's basically how to install Android 8.1 within VirtualBox. So one last thing, when it comes to shutting down your Android VM, you want to click on machine and then ACPI shutdown. And you'll get this power off and restart widget that pops out from the right of the screen. So you can just click power off and it will power down Android. So that's how to install Android 8.1 Oreo inside of VirtualBox. I hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and comment on this video as it really helps out the channel a lot and subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks for watching and goodbye.